the purpose of money is to solve the problem of barter. See, barter emerges because it's better to specialize and to trade with people. We take advantage of the specialization and division of labor. So that's one advantage of being a society. We can trade with each other. But one problem of barter is the double coincidence of wants, finding someone who wants what you make. So a medium of exchange arises so that we can have trade without having this double coincidence of wants problem. So money solves that problem, okay? but having more money doesn't solve that problem anymore. Any supply of money will do. So it's unlike other goods. Okay, And the second problem it solves is, is economic calculation. Once you have things uh, stated in money prices, everything on the market can be reduced down to a common comparable price in terms of arithmetic. Uh, that is heterogeneous or different goods that are incomparable normally, which make it difficult to plan and to choose projects. So if we're trading on a barter system and I want to use resources to build a bridge or to build a, a boat to cross a river, it's hard to know which one is the most efficient use of resources because we're comparing so many different types of things that go into these different alternative ways of doing something. But in, if you have money arise, you can compare them in terms of their, of their money cost. So if one costs a million dollars and one costs $2 million, you go with the cheaper one. So money helps you have more efficient use of resources by enabling economic calculation. So basically the purpose of money is to overcome the problem of barter and to enable economic calculation. But neither one of these functions is aided by producing more money.